It's T Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. Yes. Ah, no, that is not not what we're doing. It's T Bone and Chick Brew Friday, starting at zero six thirty. And now for a quick disclaimer: the T Bone and Chick Brew Brew in the morning. <laughs> Show is for infotainment purposes only. The opinions expressed here do not represent Naval Station Rota, the Armed Forces Network, or the Department of Defense. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been looking for me? Uh, not looking, not searching, not... Where have you been? I don't know. No, I don't do that. But I've been doing stuff, and you haven't been looking? Nope. Or Fine. searching. That's okay. I don't like that song. I don't like a lot of songs anymore. I, I know. Yeah, the Backstreet Boys one had me thinking, though. I, I didn't even listen to it. I <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to being another beautiful really, AFN listener. <laughs> a really funny article about uh, Fiona Apple and some people sampling her music, and she's like, but where's my money, you cute little guy? <laughs> and then I was laughing. I thought that had all been fixed up. You can't sample people's music anymore without giving them royalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't, uh, that, someone did it and didn't give her money. So little, then she sues Little them. Nas X, and she's like, you cute little guy. It was just funny, because... Uh, Fiona Apple needs to work on her threats. Where's my money, you cute little guy? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, kind of like uh, watching Kelly Clarkson cover Rihanna's Better Have My Money. Y'all uh, better have my money. <laughs> this song is priceless. <laughs> my experience with the phrase, you better have my money, comes from a movie called I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. So, uh... <laughs> Every time I hear that phrase, I can only think of that movie and the context in which it is said. Now just put Fiona Apple's face on that. I don't even know what Fiona Apple looks like. I'll show you a picture. I don't need to see a picture. No, you I, should. It's I can imagine with my own brain, she's a redhead and her face is shaped like an apple. <laughs> <laughs> apple I, bottom face and the hair with the fur. <laughs> Again, I don't. I have an active imagination. I don't need to know details and facts about things. I can make most of them up myself. And strangely enough, a lot of the times I'm correct. <laughs> well, you're pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. <laughs> so we are. Uh, we are giving you an early precursor to T Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. This is the. Uh, we were here anyway. We might as well talk break. <laughs> This is yeah. the prequel to the show. This is for those special listeners who turned in or who tuned in early to, to to hear us. You know what? This is just for you. So, uh, if you follow us along on the AFN, uh, oops, we don't use that one because no. no one uses it. <laughs> uh, we got we made it so popular, and then no one uses it. If you follow us on the T Bone and Chick Brew fan page, uh, also known as the Calvocade, which you can find by searching the hashtag. Uh, L-U-N-S-B, Lunsb. If you search that hashtag, you'll come across the cavalcade. You join us on there. And again, we're not allowed to take your request and play your music that you want to hear. But we are highly suggestionable. Just saying. <laughs> winky, winky. <laughs> pinky, pinky. <laughs> I am uh, very susceptible to peer pressure, and I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> oh, well, that's going to lead perfect into October, because this episode of T-Bone to Chick Brew in the Morning is going to center mostly around uh, Sober October Rota, the Rota version of Sober October and uh, the community and, and the rules. We're going to decide on what the rules are this morning. I'm and ready. Are you? Yes. I am also ready. I've done my step down. I, I use September to step down and uh, draw back to get out and start doing some exercise that I hadn't been doing to, to start not having two glasses of wine every night. Yeah. Uh, multiple times a night. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I have two hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've been stepping it down and we'll be talking about a uh, possible grand prizes we may even make a decision on what the grand prizes are now i'm going to say this because uh by the way we have a new listener in romania uh ah. for, for our listeners around the world you can still participate you don't have to be in rota if you want to participate in sober october rota we're just making the hashtag sober october rota so we know that's our thing all right that's what so we're we doing know which one it is so the actual t-bone and chick brew in the morning show will be back uh, we'll start in at, five minutes in about five minutes just let that run for two more minutes we're not even it's not even showtime yet oh well don't it's worry. time to start the music all right all right so we're two minutes early so uh here's another here's another fun story for you 
Um, I am not uh, a person that likes drugs. I don't. I'm not a drug person. I don't like over the counter. I don't like prescription. I, I I believe my body can do everything it needs to do as much as it can until that point that it can't, and then I will reluctantly take whatever it has. Uh, I make the exception when it comes to dentistry. <laughs> uh, I have a severe case of dentophobia. Don't know if it's a real word or not. Probably just made it up. Anyway, I have a severe case of it, and uh, I, I I am fortunate enough to have doctors that understand that this is a real thing, and they prescribe me uh, a class one narcotic. Um, I tell you that to tell you this. Uh, buying <laughs> drugs... <laughs> I know. I, I think I understand why people buy illegal drugs because it's probably way easier than it was uh, buying a class one narcotic at a pharmacy in Spain. I, I go to my local pharmacy, one I go to all the time. Not that I buy drugs for me, but Zeus needs drugs, so yeah, the same yeah. go to the same place, <laughs> same drugstore. So uh, I go there, and of course, uh, no tango. They ain't got it. Okay, well, this is the only pharmacy I know of because it's the only one I ever go to, but I think I've seen some others around. So I start searching for drugs. I'm out there <laughs> driving around looking for drugs, and uh, I come across a, another one on the main drag there uh, next to the Santa Run Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I go in there, no tango. Okay. I think I remember seeing one at another location, and I drive that way, and sure enough, there's another one. I go in there. No, I was like, this, I, I need this. I, I, I have to, I need this drug, you know, <laughs> probably shouldn't have said it that way. Um, where can I find it? I've been to three places. You're my third place. And he, he picks up the phone, makes a call, very secretive. And, and he you tells me it. of another place to go. And then I go to the other place. I go to the other place and uh, I show him the prescription and the guy goes in the back and then he tells me, solo uno tengo, only, only one. I need two. I'm like, oh no. I, what am I going to do? One isn't enough. I need two. I'm a big guy. I can't have one. And uh, when he comes back out, it's one box of 30. And I'm, I'm like, well, couldn't you have just said that? Couldn't you just said, I, I, why did you say that at all? You didn't need to say, <laughs> I only have one. So he gives me a box of 30. A interesting side note. You can only buy a full box. Yeah. Uh, my prescription requires two. Now I have 30. Well, you can have a lot of the dental work <laughs> of the world done. <laughs> so I got 30 of these, um, and I had, I had to pay for them. Now, he doesn't check my ID or anything like that. Now, could you imagine the states not having your ID checked for a class one narcotic? Never going to happen. You can't even get that done at our pharmacy. They check for your ID. And you're Multiple in uniform. Times. And you're in uniform. <laughs> so uh, I, uh, I, I wait for this to happen. Now, remember, my x-rays and the consult was only 20 euro. Only 20 euro. Can you imagine what a 30-pack of a class one narcotic cost in Rota, Spain? Just take a guess. Take a wild guess. 25 euro. You'd think, right? You'd think it'd be more. A dollar fifty. Shut the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bee sting. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I don't know. I don't price a lot of drugs, but if you need drugs in America, it's maybe you should just get on a plane, come to Spain, buy all your drugs, oh, and fly home. I saw home. that. Did you see the um, at the Jerez airport, there's medical vacations, and it's supposed to uh, seniors <laughs> strolling along because I guess that's a thing. I don't want to do go on vacation to. I would medical. definitely do that instead of going bankrupt in America trying That's to get health care. I don't live in America. Uh, I live, I live well, in then beautiful. you need to start I'm learning the pharmacy system and find the good ones. I, I have a, I have a wonderful <laughs> pharmacy in Puerto. Um, there's a very there's two very attractive pharmacists. There. Uh, it's Timo and Chick in the morning. We'll be back after this. Life is a highway. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. <laughs> Officially, we may have been on the air earlier talking, but uh, we don't really start the show until 6.30. And now you're we have arrived. The, the full on 100% uh, go, 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 go juice. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a great picture. Stop staring at yourself. That's weird. No, I was just like, how skinny I was. <laughs> So, uh, Sober October Rota is what we're going to be focusing on in today's episode. We're going to be talking about the rules here and the things. That, now, these rules are not etched in stone, as you would say. Uh, currently, there are only four of them. If we need to, na if we need to make some adaptations. Uh, amendments. Amendments, if you will. Uh, prohibitions. Uh, <laughs> 
re repealing, if we need to do any formal, whatever, you understand what I'm saying. There's four rules right now, four simple rules for Sober October Rota. And if you think we need to adjust those rules, well, now is your, now is your time. There's only four days left until October. Rule number one, you must publicly state that you are participating in Sober October Rota. I am participating in Sober October Rota. I am also participating in Sober October Rota. Two participants, we are doing better than we've ever done before. Pat is participating in Sober October Rota. That's three. We have three that have been publicly stated. And now you publicly state that using your social media things. You need to tell your friends that you're doing this because your family and your friends are going to be the ones holding you accountable. We're not going to stalk you. So you, you, you put it out there. You say, I'm doing this. And you Every add. Step you take. And, <laughs> yeah, I love that in uh, uh, B minor. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah but uh, you must publicly state it on your social media and you must add the hashtag Sober October Rota. Um, I was really hoping in uh, the pre conversation you would have brought back the other one, but you didn't. So just skip that now. Anyway, uh, Strava. I've been testing different apps that allow us to track our miles. There's two things involved in Sober October Rota. One is no drinking, durr. <laughs> uh, there'll be no alcohol consumption of any kind to include ethyl, uh, ethyl and ethanol and methanol. No alcohol during, for 31 days, no alcohol, right? Very yeah. simple. During those 31 days, we're going to get outside. And we're, it's a beautiful time of the year. We're going to get outside and we're going to get some miles in. The way we're going to track those miles is we're going to do it through Strava. Strava is a free app. Just be careful when you click around. There's a lot of things that you could pay for if you click the wrong thing. It's a free app. It allows us to communicate uh, with one another. It's like Facebook for athletes. Nope, huh? Doesn't that make you? No, you're on it. You're an athlete. There you go. Uh oh, is that easy? Yeah, and it allows us all to track each other and hold each other accountable and to track each other. I mean, the the, the running and the non-drinking is how we're going to determine a winner. So there will be a winner for uh, Sober October Rota, and there will be prizes involved. What those prizes are are still up for debate. So uh, another caveat on the running it has to be outdoors, and it has to be tracked via GPS. So no treadmill, guys. No elliptical, guys. It's got to be uh, outdoors with the GPS satellite. Now, if you're just running in a circle, that's fine. None of this step stuff. I only walked 12,000 steps today. That's equivalent to six miles. Nope, don't care. You got to get outside. I can walk 6,000 steps in my office. I, just, I do that. That's what I going do. Going back and forth for coffee. <laughs> uh, the grand prize... The earliest version of the grand prize, and we may be able to add to this. Oh, we can. I don't know. Is a dinner for two. We're going to make a real nice dinner for two and uh, to, to spice it up a little bit. Um, I will join you. Dinner for two <laughs> plus a third <laughs> wheel. <laughs> uh, we'll be talking more about this over October, but your input is desired. So give us a call, 727-1025 or... 956-82-1025. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. Do you feel it? Okay, so apparently uh, I have learned that offering to pay for a dinner for two and then offering to go with you was kind of creepy. So uh, <laughs> how about we go with them? Okay. Yes. Wait a second. Mm, I got to think about that. Because what, uh, what if we win? Or what if you win? A. a. Yeah. I'm not competitive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I just don't want to die just, this month. Uh, so there's that. Um, two, we don't go to dinner together. So it would be like very, very rarely do we hang out outside of this. Yes, state. that is a very true so statement. So it, it would really be a, a super prize for whoever wins whether it be us or someone else uh for us to be having dinner because that's not something we do <laughs> so one of two things will happen one of us will win and we'll go to dinner together or someone else will win 
But we'll all go to dinner together, and it'll be really awkward because it's not awkward. There will be whatever. No, no microphones or headphones, <laughs> <laughs> and I, we'll all just be on our phones. No, we can wear headphones. <laughs> oh, okay. We I can carry them out. We can carry around microphones. You know what I'm going to start doing? This is a, this is a fun thing I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start carrying around a toilet seat with me. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You got me? You feel me? I, you know oh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, one too many toilet bowls felt. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, uh, when, you, when you go to dinner with people and they take their phone out and they put their phone on the table, that's what I want to just pull out a toilet seat and put it right up on the table. And they're like, oh, my God, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I thought this is where, I thought this is the time we take things from the bathroom and put them on the table uh, you know, time. But you know whose phone does not have as many germs as the bathroom? Who? Mine, because I wash it every day. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. You know, I, I don't think we push that message enough. Clean your phone. Sanitize. Sanitize. <laughs> Sanitize. It, this thing's got a nice little protective cover on it. I've got the... the They're out- water resistant now, man. I got the Purell stuff. I put it all over. Oh, yeah. I get it all nice. And, and then I talk on it and I feel at ease because there's no creepy crawly germs coming up on me. Yeah, I'm guilty. I take the phone in the bathroom with me too. Who does it? It's when a great I wash time hands, killer. I wash my phone. Yeah. Oh, really? You just stick it in there. and It's water resistant. It's fine. I, my Well, the reason I don't do that is because I had a water resistant phone that wasn't. I took it in the pool. I filmed uh, the dog swimming underwater from in the pool. It was uh, adorable. Is that an upgrade? Is that a new one or just a new case? No, the case is not water resistant. The case uh, is wide open. All right. Well, let's, we're, uh, <laughs> so there is an addition to the rules. So here's the rules so far. You must publicly state that you're participating in Sober October Rota with the hash. Uh, just by saying, basically, I am participating and add the hashtag Sober October Rota. Uh, you need to use the Strava app to track your outdoor miles. There is uh, be sure when you get on there and it says try free trial, just don't do the skip free it. trial. Yeah, skip it. At the, the top app right, is free. The top right corner you can skip. So you don't need a uh, free trial. The app is free. You just need to skip a couple of things where they try to get you to buy stuff. Uh, no alcohol, no drinking or consuming uh, in any way. There are different ways to get alcohol in your system. Don't none of it. those, <laughs> none no. of those are eligible. If you're the, using the other ways, you have. <laughs> we need to talk, and we are here for you. The running <laughs> must be outdoor running you have to do it outside it's got to be tracked on a gps and the other thing that we have to include the fifth rule is the snitch clause you have to just allow just you got to put a blanket statement out there to tell your family and friends maybe uh in in the you got to let them know it is okay to snitch on you if you cheat they can tell and they have to tell because you cheated. The snitch clause. And then you can't hold them accountable. You're the one that broke down. You're the one that couldn't make it 31 days. If you get ratted out by your loved ones, you still have to love them because that's the rule in the competition. It's T-Bone <laughs> and Chick Brew in the morning. We'll be back. Get the wiggles out of here. <laughs> so, uh, interesting story out of Okinawa, Japan this morning. One of our favorite listeners, you know who I'm talking about, Mike Stanley, is... Uh, <laughs> It's too addicted to wine to join us in Sober October Rota, which is really sad because I thought, you know, buying him dinner means I would probably have to go there. And I, I like Okinawa. So. I, I have not been to I, Japan I, since I, fourth grade. Are you? That's. It, I didn't realize you were paying for that because now I'm definitely <laughs> in. I want to go to dinner, too. <laughs> Yeah, we could have just bounced over there, you know, had dinner, congratulated him, take a profile picture. I don't know. I did that recently. I had one of my sailors roll through here. He's in Bahrain right now. I hadn't seen him in 10 years. Uh, good, good young man. And uh, we, you know, he told me he was here. If you, if you're flying into Rota and you tell me you're here, I'm coming I, to see you. I'll go you. to the, I will go, same, same. I'm I, coming to see you and we're going to chit chat. We're going to have a good time. I'm if I can, <laughs> depending on how much time you have here, I'll get you out in town and get you, you know, beer, get you fed. I'm going to do that for you. I do the same and you thing. Don't, you don't even have to win a competition. I'll just do that because I like doing that for my uh, people I, I, I know and love. And he, and he showed up and uh, it was a great conversation. And it, because my mindset is still I'm an old man. So we have this wonderful conversation and he's getting called. He's got to go back inside to get on his plane. And he starts walking in and he's like, oh, hold on. We got to do this. Selfie. Of course. Yeah. Didn't even cross my mind. Didn't even cry. <laughs> hey, we got to get a selfie first. Uh, <laughs> so that was uh, that was interesting. So we are talking about your sober October rota. So again, we're working through the rules. We're working through the prizes. I think in addition to a dinner for two, 
With okay. your two favorite people. With your two favorite, yeah. Uh, I, Someone in Japan, put down the wine <laughs> and go run. Come on, man. Uh, or Naples or, or Suda Bay, our friend in Suda Bay. You know, I you go can to Naples participate. all the time. Naples, you're fine. No. <laughs> I want to go somewhere else. What, what about a nice bottle? What about a nice bottle of your favorite? Of water. Ad- of your favorite adult beverage. The most delicious water the, you can the drink. The thing that you've given up for 31 days. But maybe you want to maintain a lifestyle afterwards. Okay, then leave it on the shelf and let it collect dust. Things are supposed to age well. Like me. Uh, not like me. <laughs> <laughs> like Halle Berry. <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, again, why are we doing this? Well, because we want to have some fun, number one. Number two, everybody could use a reset. Yeah. It's good to have a nice little reset. It's, it's healthy for you sometimes to just kind of stop doing things that aren't as good for you as they could be. Start doing things that are good for you. So if you haven't been out there and you haven't been exercising, don't let the word run scare you. And did you read that correctly on the ad? Did you read what I wrote? No, we're not. What, you, what, you just have to be outside. What, what are the three big letters? What are the R U N? Correct. Yes. Yes. It also spells the word run, but I don't want you getting wrapped up around run. If you're walking outdoors and you're tracking it using GPS technology, those miles count. Yeah. So we're looking for the person who can get in the most miles. My dogs are going to love it. <laughs> get in the most miles while at the same time not consuming alcohol only for the month of October. And you know what? Why don't you throw a little bonus in there? Why don't you choose a diet that works for you and do it for 31 days? Just reset the clock. Take a couple years off. Of, uh, <laughs> old, add a couple years to. <laughs> the old liver could use some love, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's just, we're doing it for fun. We're doing it to, to, to engage the audience. And at the same time, we're doing it for our own health. We're going to have, we're, me and you are going to have fun with it if nobody else does. You know what? I, I feel like I might, no, I'm not competitive. <laughs> so, uh, Aries are supposed to be competitive. I'm like, so we're going to play some music. Easiest. We're going to play the news. We're going to come back and we're going to hit you up. And then we're going to be talking about the Road to Ride Share and the Road to Santa Run. And of course, your weekend safety brief. There it is. Yeah. So we know who that one goes out for. If you're a regular <laughs> fan of the show and you like music and you like particular bands and stuff like that, you tell us and we play it for you. That that song is only for you and no one else. No one else is even allowed to listen to it. That's how much it's for you. Only you. <laughs> <laughs> got, lots of, got lots of songs in my heart today. So uh, the Rotor Ride Share, I, I don't know what we're doing wrong on Rotor Ride Share. Really? I've given one ride. You have, and I think you're probably the only one. The inaugural uh, ride. I don't. I think we need to put an ad in the paper. I think we need to do something uh, along yeah. those lines and let the the people who don't who are who don't we probably need to put an ad in the paper for the show. That's what we need to do because <laughs> you can get all of your important information by listening to us. But if you're not listening to us and you're reading the paper, maybe we put an ad in the paper saying, "Listen to us." Hey, Courtney. Hey, Ben. Hey, LT. Could we get an ad? <laughs> 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 None of them are listening. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're right. We got to get them on board first. <laughs> I, I don't know. You can't. You can't do everything through Facebook. That's what I do know. So the Rotor Rideshare program, obviously, it was designed. It was set up to uh, to connect people who need rides with people who can give rides. But still. Every single day I watch the fleet of taxis taking one sailor at a time. Now, I live near a place where there's always, there always seems to be a sailor standing outside waiting for a cab. Uh, and, and there's a lot of apartments across the way. So they come out this one door and the cab comes and picks up the guy. And within a minute or two minutes, there's another cab. And then I followed the two cabs and we're all going the same way. They're, Are you going to go my way? Yeah, and I could take the detour. I come in early. I could take the detour, drop them off right there at the head of the pier, uh, and then come in here. I could do that on a Friday morning. Yeah. Uh, but on a normal morning, I'd still be with, you know, ooh, another thing. Another thing we need to do. We need to talk. Uh, we need to get on the CMC Super Show. Whenever I don't know. You know, it's poorly advertised. Uh, no one listens to it, but <laughs> but but it is an opportunity to talk to the CMC. We need to talk. I want to get on the bus with the CMC. I just want to ride around the bus and show them this is where the bus goes. 
Because <laughs> because I know the bus route, and I also know how much the bus gets used, and it doesn't get used as much as it could because it's not where it needs to be most of the time. Yes. So I think it would be a fun day trip if I could get the CMC and me to just go out and ride the bus around. I want to watch that from like the middle. You're of the, the camera p- person for this one. Oh. No, we'll we'll do interviews while we're on the bus with people or each other because there will be nobody on the bus for long periods of time. Tebow's on the bus with CMC. <laughs> CMC. So uh, the Rotor Ride Share, if you want to know more about it, just search on Facebook for Rotor Ride Share. Uh, and again, that is designed for those people who need rides, uh, with those people who can give rides to put them together so that, uh, you know, we could. I saw I saw something recently where sailors are complaining they're spending as much as six hundred dollars a month on cab fare. Yes. Yes. Because you're should have bought a car. Uh, I mean, you have a personal chauffeur <laughs> taking you places. Uh, yeah, that does get expensive. Yeah. But if you, with just a little coordination, we Why could, do you think Lindsay Lohan opted out so many times? Uh, uh, yeah, I never understood celebrities getting yeah, DUIs. I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, no, you shall drive me. Yes, you will. Uh, <laughs> the Road to Santa Run participation is still up. We'll talk about that on the next break, and then we'll get ready for your uh, weekend safety brief. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. <laughs> I might be lazy, but I have no sympathy for your laziness. <laughs> is that not fair? It is fair. <laughs> Everything's fair in love, war, and hip hop. I don't know. <laughs> oh, is that it, the name of your memoir? <laughs> is it, yeah, of course. Why not? How's the book coming? Oh, it's good. Okay, I've, I've great. Just, what was the thing about under the cupboard you said uh, earlier? Oh, just call it the cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> 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 That's what, when we were doing the remodel, we had we did the radio from. The cupboard near the stairs, and so I just always called it the cupboard under the stairs. And so when you're not here, I just call it that. Okay, well, that's always fun. So if you haven't been following along today, we've gone through a lot of information, but it basically centered around this Sober October Rota Edition. That's uh, that's what we're doing in four days. We're kicking that off. You are more than welcome to participate. It costs nothing to enter. There are multiple benefits to participating to include the possibility of winning the grand prize. And the grand prize will be a dinner for two and a nice bottle of an adult beverage of your choice within reason. You know, I if it's uh, gold, it's like, yeah, oh, I drink a bottle of gold. It's my <laughs> it's my favorite thing. No, we're not doing that. Within reason. Great, I found this on the bottom shelf. <laughs> <laughs> there are five there are five rules for participating in Sober October Rota. It's you gotta publicly state that you're participating so all your friends and family know that you're in. You gotta use the hashtag Sober October Rota when you make that public announcement. Remember, there's no alcohol and there is a requirement that you get outside and move. And while you're moving, you could be running. You know what? If you walk and Outside. you want to, yeah, that's that counts. Uh, so we're going to say running, but we're going to add the little asterisk to the side at your pace, whatever your pace may be three miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. That's still running for this competition. We're all going to use the Strava app, it is free. Just download it, put it on your phone, it'll track your miles and it'll it, put it us all like, in yeah, touch I with one of Like, I, I followed you already, I'm following you. Nice. And uh, the final, the fifth rule for Sober October Rota is uh, you have to give uh, absolute permission for your family and friends to rat you out should you cheat. So that that's it. You got to be able to, to go a whole month without drinking, which you should be able to do. And if you can't, you might have a problem. And I mean, like, the good thing is, is though... You're spending a whole month quitting with a whole bunch of other people, in, right? In it's theory, kind of like that's what little, we're trying to a do. A little support group built in. We're all going to have days where like, well, there's no wine after that fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, uh, and, and the, the snitch clause is the final thing there. All you got to do uh, is do that. Remember, uh, Lunsby is the uh, T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. Uh, hashtag L-U-N-S-B. If you search for that on Facebook, you'll come across the cavalcade. And the cavalcade will connect you to the fan page. And the fan page is connected to your knee bone. And, and actually, the fan page is connected to Rota Rideshare and the Rota Santa Run, two of the pages that we talk about all the time. That... Uh, are easy to link to if you just go to the cavalcade or the fan page. So as far as time on the clock, you got one minute.
it ish. And uh, then we'll okay. And then we're gonna play Duran Duran. Oh, which that one? Was, Iran. Hungry like a wolf. Oh. Yeah, it was built. It was given to us this morning by the the AFN. Don't say it. No, they wouldn't be. They can't be. It was there. The AF, it was there. AFN computer. That's how you say that. <laughs> I had no words. Just by the AFN. <laughs> by the AFN that be. After Duran Duran, we're going to come up with your weekend safety brief, and then I have to uh, leave on time today because of uh, dentophobia. I'm already starting to sweat. I see you wiping your hands. You are nervous. I am already Nervioso. starting to sweat. Oh, goodness. Yay! He's going to run so far away. <laughs> A tiny person driving a tiny car. That's hilarious. It's, it's so fitting. And she only had a couple of tiny friends. Like a bunch of tiny friends to drive around. <laughs> Congratulations on that new purchase, special someone we know. Special member of the cavalcade. So, uh, going in... She's asleep. No, she's at work. I don't know what's happening. She could be sleeping at work. Ah, nappy naps. <laughs> it's time for ACC. Do you remember what ACC stands for? Uh, she's thinking. Uh, she's pointing fingers at me. <laughs> Alcohol. No, no. No. Accident. Yes. Prevention. Uh, court martial prevention and crime prevention. That is the ACC <laughs> yeah. of your weekend safety brief. Remember, when we do the weekend safety brief, we do it for you. And if you send us a muster report, we'll sign it. Hey, thanks, Jana, for joining the uh, Rotor Ride Chair. That's nice. Got a new member. We only have to do a couple thousand more shows to get out of the thing full. <laughs> <laughs> so ACC is your accident, crime, and court martial prevention lecture for the weekend to get you through the weekend and safe until Monday. Let's start with that accident prevention. Very easy. The weather is a changing. If you didn't notice, we recently had some moist precipitation falling down from above. The rain in uh, Spain is mostly in the plains. Why do I know that? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> I just let you go with it. The roundabouts here. They accumulate a lot of uh, 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 lubricants, uh, petroleum products, yes. and it only takes a little bit of moisture to activate the slippery, slippery, slippery. Plus all the rocks and the little pieces of, uh, I don't know, yeah, marbles that detritus. They, <laughs> <laughs> so keep this in mind. It doesn't take a lot of rain to make the roads. As a matter of fact, just a little rain makes the roads really slippery. So. Uh, for my two-wheeled friends out there, be especially mindful. After a light misting, that is not the time to lean into a corner unless you, unless you like to wiggle, wiggle. Ooh. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, not good. The one by the commissary, that's the one I see the most. The, the, the one by the commissary is where you see the bicyclist eat it the most. Yes. Because uh, it's the, not it's not your friends. <laughs> it's not it's your a friend. light misting. It gets slippery, and they're just getting on it, and then they, boom, done, son. It's that straightaway, and you're like, oh, it's just another straightaway. It's just so slight, but it's not so slight on the on the exit. <laughs> Roundabouts are your friend. They work very easy. You just have to go with the flow of traffic. Sometimes sometimes they don't work, and it's easy to get mildly frustrated. But remember, after a light misting, they are super slick. So uh, be careful, <laughs> especially if you're you bought a road beater. You know you got your first BMW. It's from '84. You know <laughs> I'm driving a BMW. It's uh, 20 years old, but I'm driving a B it's rear wheel drive, and you don't yes. know that, and you're gonna find yourself pointed in the wrong direction one day. Or your do you remember Gary? And she had that. <laughs> That, like, Ford and the hubcaps came off every time she went around the roundabout. By the <laughs> <laughs> so in your crime prevention, let's talk about complacency. So if you did real good at locking your doors and your windows and tightening everything down and setting your alarms during the summer when all the tourists uh, and associated bad people were here, you know what? Keep doing that. Those are good habits to do all the time. Don't put stuff in your vehicle because a vehicle is not a place to secure anything. I don't even leave like, um, what's the dried meat in a bag stuff called? Jerky. I don't even leave <laughs> jerky. I don't even leave jerky in the car. Because you know, <laughs> what if someone goes by and they're hungry? Well, they'll break your window to take your jerky. And uh, that, Has that happened to you before? It hasn't happened yet. But, but your jerky's always been safe. So. Yeah, I, I protect my jerky. Uh, priorities, priorities. Yes. They're throwing things. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and for court martial prevention, the final C in ACC, remember this. You were here when this happened uh, recently. 
uh, a friend of ours, someone that we know, going through a little bit of a situation. He's a man. And, uh, and I walked up behind him and I wanted to comfort him. I wanted to let him know it was okay. But this is how trained I've been with 30 plus years working for the United States Navy. I said to him, do I have your permission to touch you? I do that too. <laughs> At seven. Oh, now, wait. This is a friend of ours. The this 25th of September was my seven years. <laughs> <laughs> this is a friend of ours. This is someone I know. And all I wanted to do was comfort him. And I've just been trained to make sure you don't, you don't, you can't touch people anymore. You yeah. can't touch people without their explicit permission and a witness. And I had a witness and I had explicit permission <laughs> only to put my hands on his shoulders, pat his back and tell him, you know what? It's going to be OK. Uh, so keep that in mind. Explicit permission to touch someone will keep you out of a lot of trouble. I do, too. Like, um, I'll be like, oh, your collar is messed up. Do you want me to fix it? Or you got it. <laughs> All the time. What's going on you with me? Haven't even I, taken your medicine yet, have no, you? No, that's in just a just a, 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 a minute. Two minutes. Two minutes. And, a minute and a half. And another thing, and another important thing. The one of the you know we can go through sober October. We can get everybody involved, but there's still going to be somebody out there that's going to be drinking. They're going to do something stupid, and they're going to find themselves in front of the judge. Uh, alcohol, as fun as it is, and I enjoy it with the rest of you. I do. I, I get it. But man, it makes people make bad, bad decisions. And the younger you are and the less experienced you are at the drink, uh, you tend to make the worst decisions. So, you know, remember, drinking is a team sport. When you go out drinking, go out drinking with your friends. They watch your back, you watch theirs. But never get, uh, never lose your mind. With Once upon a time, we had a great quote for that. I wish I could dig that up. But uh, never lose your mind when you're out drinking. Or even when you're home drinking, you know, keep it in moderation. Enjoy the drink, but be moderate about it. And uh, join us for Sober October. This has been a great episode. It's four days away. October the 1st, it begins. I am looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to getting some miles in and, and dumping some weight and not drinking and hanging out and, and then going to dinner with people. Hashtag LUNSB, L-U-N-S-B. That'll get you to the fan page. That's where most of the smack talking will occur during Sober October. It has been a wonderful morning with you, my friend. So I say this as I always say this. Be the best person that you could be, and if you were a great person yesterday, be an even better person tomorrow. And don't forget that you are loved.